Yo guys, Code Life here. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be quickly showing you all how to re-enable the show FPS counter in Fortnite, as well as show you all a fix on how to stop the DirectX 12 setting from reverting back to DirectX 11 every time you do restart Fortnite. Now, both of these issues that I just mentioned there, guys, are something I've only recently experienced. I actually found them both when I was working on two upcoming videos that are related to DirectX 12 and Fortnite FPS in general. I noticed that for one, I could no longer enable or disable the FPS indicator as for some reason Epic Games have decided to remove the show FPS button that was previously in the game. And the number two issue that I found was when I first tested the DirectX 12 setting, I selected it in my video settings, then I got told that I had to restart my game. After restarting, I noticed that it reverted itself from being on DirectX 12 to now being on DirectX 11, which is really annoying because I did select it on DirectX 12. I did end up managing to fix both of these issues really easily guys which is why i'm making this video today as i'm sure most of you watching have encountered these same exact issues i know as well guys that i might be a little bit late on these fixes as these two issues have been in the game for about a week now but in my opinion guys i think it's always better to show a fix later than never so i'm really hoping that this video does help some of you guys out if it does be sure to let me know by dropping a like on the video moving on guys let's now jump straight into the fixes starting off with the directx 12 issue first so to fix this guys all you need to do is simply untick the read only box in the game user settings config file to find this file guys all you need to do is go onto your desktop and press the windows key plus r at the same time this will then bring up a run box in here you want to type in percentage sign local app data percentage sign a bunch of folders will then pop up you want to open fortnite game saved config and then windows client in here you'll see the game user settings config file simply right click on that and open the properties you want to then untick the read only box now when you open up fortnite and select the directx 12 setting in the video settings and then restart fortnite your directx 12 won't get reverted back to directx 11 it will in fact stay on directx 12 problem solved next up we've got the show fps issue to fix this guys all you need to do is toggle it on and off via the game user settings config file to get to that file guys it's just the same way i mentioned before once you're in there all you need to do is right click on that game user settings file and click edit in the editor you want to locate the line that says b show fps this is where you can enable it or disable the fps counter if you want to enable the fps counter in game you just want to set it to true with a capital t and if you want to disable it in game just simply set it to false with a capital f and after that guys you're literally good to go all you need to do is press file and and then save and also make sure to right click back on the game user settings file and retick the read only box by doing this it'll make sure that your config settings and even your custom resolution if you have got one set up won't reset when you do open fortnite do remember though guys that if you are planning on making any more in-game settings or config changes be sure to firstly untick the read only box before you do make the change then after you've made the change you can go ahead and retick that read only box again by doing this guys it'll make sure that whatever setting you've changed it won't reset or revert after you do reopen fortnite and yeah guys that's how to fix those two issues if this video did help you out then be sure to leave a like on it guys as that really helps me out you can also subscribe to the channel as well if you on you and if you would like to support me further you can use code code life in the fortnite item shop when you do purchase any skins by doing that guys you really would be helping me out a ton but yeah that's all from me guys hope you all have a great day or night thanks for watching peace